want to say thank you to Multitech for providing me with this opportunity to present on a very important topic in sampling. Um, I know I'm on the graveyard shift. I know I'm the last speaker. I do feel fortunate, but I'm going to try and make it a memorable listening experience for you. So most of us at some point or the other in our lives had to make a key decision. The results of that decision is based on the information we have at hand. Likewise, in the mineral industry, there's key decisions that need to be made. Key decisions that affect our stakeholders and our downstream processes, right? As an introduction, as an overview of my presentation, I'm going to talk about who are the key decision makers in a mineral processing industry, what decisions they have to make, and what is the role of sampling in these decisions. So some of the key decision makers that I've identified is not limited to these individuals. It could be your plant management, financial accountants, project investors, plant and mine customers, government, and basically your shareholders, your directors, right? The list is, goes up to about 20 people, right? But I've, I've only put the, the main people in the mineral processing industry. So these key people have to make decisions. The decisions they have to make are around the business performance management. They have to make capital investment decisions. They have to make decisions regarding commodity trading, statutory reporting, as well as process control. And the upcoming slides, I'm going to unpack it, each of these items, and tell you the role of sampling when it comes to these key decisions. So in order for those decisions to be made, correct sampling is required. This gives decision makers the assurance that the information that they're providing to their stakeholders is accurate and verifiable, right? It's representative and it's correct. Sorry. So you may be thinking in your mind, what is correct sampling or metallurgical accounting sampling? So basically think of it like this. Check in is equal to check out, right? It's a metallurgical reconciliation. This basically, the sample represents your actual metal grades in your feed, right? You produce competent samples for laboratory analysis. When you're dealing with the mine to mill reconciliation, you're comparing your mine reports to the actual tons, grade, and metal being produced by the mills. Right? When you're comparing that to the mill to sales reconciliation, you are looking at that that matches your mill metal production to the sales results in a short period of time. So basically, like I said, check in, check out. All of us here on a daily basis, we have to think of it like this. We have to consume, we digest, and then it has a means to exit. So metallurgical accounting sample is exactly that. right? And it also allows you to define a budget for what the company will produce, right? The funds that are going to be your target funds. When you think of metallurgical accounting, it's actually a critical for corporate governance. It allows you to monitor, you have checks in place, you're trying to improve your process plant, the performance, and you're identifying what losses and what emissions are occurring in your plant, right? For me metallurgical accounting, we need to provide reliable data for decision making. Now, like I said, I'm going to unpack the decisions that need to be made. When you're sampling for business performance management, this has everything to do with how your process plant performs. You need to basically have, it's about your planning, your production targets, it's about your grades and recoveries, it's about your quality assurance, your quality control, and your safety regulations. So basically what it means is, very quickly, sampling is used for planning of production targets. It allows you to monitor what losses you're having on the plant. It allows you to ensure profitability and safety on your plant quality assurance and quality um, control measures are in place for risk management and for auditing purposes, right? That's w where the role of sampling comes when you are determining your business performance or your process plant performance. 
when you're doing capital investment, when you're trying to fund a project, when you have a brownfields application, this is an existing process plant. You need to have reliable sampling in place so that you can justify to management to put in and expand, to expand the plant because of your demand or to optimize the plant. Your sampling there is critical for capital investment decisions. When there's no plant or no mine existing, that, that's a scoping study. When you're doing scoping studies, pre-feasibility and feasibility studies, sampling is used on the geological drilling core samplers. There you get, you do a mineralogy study, you do test work, and then you develop your flow sheet for mine and process plant producing, right? So basically, in that, the, the drill course is essential to sampling and your, your plant is built. In South Africa, we have something called estimation reporting of exploration results. There's a SAMRAC code, right? It's South African Mineral Resources Committee code, which gives us the guidelines and tells us how to go about sampling when there's no process plant in place, right? Different jurisdictions, different government, uh, different places in the, all over the world globally have some sort of code to guide how you sample. When, you, when you're sampling for commodi commodity trading, we look here at your bulk sampling commodities. You're looking at chrome, iron ore, coal, and manganese. You want to export those, so they have to be within a certain contractual specification. For this, you are producing samples for sizing, for moisture content and chemical analysis, and you need to apply sound practice on the sampling protocol. For that, we use the ISO standards. In the international standards of sampling, they tell you the guidelines to do your sampling protocol, what masses you should have for each increment produced for laboratory analysis. So, Multitech in the sampling sense produces sampling equipment and sampling plants. We utilize this guideline to basically provide the customer with a recommendation on what the sampling plant's gonna look like for contractual purposes. Here you have the rigidly controls because it is metal-based pricing and there's penalties incurred for out-of-ship specification sizing. So for, for contractual purposes, you can either use it, we're loading the, sampling, the, the sample on a train, we can use it, uh, we can export it via ship, and that's when we use it for commodity trading. Like everything we do in our daily lives, we do commodities for basically energy, metal, food, right? It's part of our daily life. So too in mineral processing, uh, commodity trading is metal-based, right? When we think of sampling for statutory requirements, when we say statutory requirements, we're talking about you need to provide its mandatory submission of documentation for reporting purposes to the government, right? It needs to be financial and it needs to be non-financial. Sampling is necessary here because you need to comply in terms of monitoring and you need to provide results to the government on what your mine or your plant is producing. And the government needs to basically verify this. And in order to do this, you need, sam you need samplers for this. So it's important for statutory reporting and control measurements. In South Africa, the codes and guidelines for statutory reporting in the mining industry is stipulated in SAMREC, the South African Mineral Reserve Committee, and companies that are listed on the JSC. So if you take how many gold, they give the government their results for the year, and they list it on the JSC, the government can go back and verify that they have sampling in place and the analysis and the data they're getting is verifiable and accurate and correct. So that's where the sampling comes into, uh, into play. When you're sampling for process control, basically when I think of process control, I think of us doing a general health checkup, right? You need to know what the well-being of your process plant is. You need to know the trending on your plant. So that's when you would use sampling for process control. Here, typically, you would, you would uh, sample your, your flotation concentrate, your flotation tailings. 
We use, and they feed an online analyzer to produce a certain volumetric flow rate of the sample. When you do this, you're actually identifying what problems you're having on the plant, and you're actually also identifying what solutions you, you can have for the plant, right? So in your process plant, is the information you use for sampling, uh, for decision making, obtained from the correct sampling practice? So I, I believe that when it comes to sampling, the result is as good as the sample that's being taken, right? Good sampling practice requires, like good laboratory practice, is the heart of all management decisions. The decisions are not made by just looking at the sample. It needs to be representative of the, the material you're sampling. Your decisions are only as good as your samples. Last but not least, what Multitech can do for you to have confidence in the information you are receiving. So Multitech, what we can do is, we supply single or multi-state samplers. This is a multi-state system that we've supplied uh, for a coal operation on a payment station last year. We can pro provide you with a mechanical system to determine your grades and the contents of your metal with high degree of accuracy and precision. We can also supply you with mineral solutions that facilitate unbiased mineral samples with a high degree of integrity. Our samplers provide you with reliable, low maintenance solutions to increase productivity and profitability on your beneficiation plant. We also provide our customers with optimum cost-effective mineral sampling solutions tailored to their applications. So there's a whole lot of things Multitech can do to ensure that you have confidence in the way you report to your, to your stakeholders, to the government agency, by just merely utilizing or installing a sampler. And that's it. Thank you.